hi guys in today's video i'm going to be walking you through how you can create a book cover for the book you already created to upload on the amazon kdp platform now if you have not created a book it is advised that you create your very first book there's a video that i created that teaches you how to create a simple coloring book that you can upload on amazon kdp i'm also going to put up more videos about how to create a notebook and journals just basically to help you get your first book published and then get you on your way to creating passive income on the amazon kdp platform all right so i'm just going to be walking you through how you can create a simple book cover all right using two applications now one of the applications we're going to be using is canva now canva is a particular kind of app that allows you to download templates for different projects you're running all right it has a pro version that you need to pay for now mind you whenever you're trying to download or use any information on canva it is important you check for the license if it's allowed to use that particular detail for commercial purposes all right so without further ado let's get into the video and let me show you what you need to do to create a perfect book cover for your book that you created. Now the first thing you want to do is go to your browser and type kdp.amazon.com. If you don't already have an account with them, you'll be required to sign up. But if you have an account, it takes you straight to your dashboard, all right? Now when you come to your dashboard, you want to click on help so that you get information about the book cover you're about to create. So just scroll down and then go to book formatting. And you're going to click on the first option which is format your paperback okay that's what we're going to be creating we're going to be creating a notebook paper a, a cover for a notes a notebook right so that's what we're going to be working on so you just go straight down and click on download cover templates now there's a cover calculator within the confines of the kdp platform that helps you calculate the dimensions of your book cover okay so you're going to be required to put in some information here all right that's going to help them calculate your book cover dimension okay so what you want to do is just put them in so yeah we're going to pick paper bag for your blending type the interior type we're going to be picking black and white since it's a notebook or a journal then paper type let's just use black and white paper or white paper rather then um paper turn direction page turn direction you want to pick left to right and then the measurements now the standard measurements for for book covers is in inches for your book is in inches so let's just pick on that then interior trim size if you're creating a journal or a notebook the standard measurement is six by nine okay in another video i'll explain why that is all right but this is the standard measurement let's get this over with and then your page count you can decide how many pages you want your book to be if you want it to be 100 120 150 whatever it is you want so i'm just going to be picking 100 for the purpose of this video then we can calculate dimension now once you click on calculate dimension a pictorial um, representation of your book is going to be sent to you all right you can see the full description of the book there the full cover the front cover the safe area the blend the margin and all of that stuff all right now what you want to do now is download the template that has been created for you because that's what we're going to be using to design okay you can see the template is being downloaded there on the bottom left corner so let's just check what it looks like all right let's click on that and open up now this is what your book cover is going to look like let's expand it and see what it looks like this is exactly what your book cover is going to look like but there are some information that you should pay attention to okay and some details we should pay attention to let me just show you what details we need specifically to start with all right but we're going to be using the entire template but these are the details we should pay attention to because we're going to need it on the next interface now you want to pay attention to those numbers there that's 12.47 and 9.250 okay that's the overall dimension you want to pay attention to that all right so that's what we're going to be using when we get onto the app that we're going to be using to design our book cover and the app we're using here is canva canva is free all right we want to create a design now there's an option for you to create a design and beneath it you can pick custom size or you can just go directly and pick custom size here and you put those numbers we saw for us it was 12.475 so let me just put that in 12.475 and then 9.250 okay this is in order then you want to click the inches or pixel it's usually in pixel but you want to make sure it's in inches because inches is what we use on our page okay there's also millimeter which was available on our kdp platform but it's in inches and you click on create design now when you come here this interface just opens up to you and this is how wide um, those dimension looks so you want to upload the template that you now downloaded from canva from your kdp okay you want to upload it to canva okay let me just show you how you do that you just click on uploads go to upload files all right when you go to upload files here 
you just go to the location where that particular template is you can see mine is here paperback all right and then once you just open that it's going to open up and be on your camera then you want to add it to your um workspace or your work interface and then you want to expand it to fit the page so push it up to the right a bit left a bit then come to the right here and drag it to fit the page all right so no information is taken out you can see there's a way it just pops when it fits on the page all right so the next thing we want to do is i want to work on the back before we go to the front so what you want to do right now is you want to um lock this particular back area so that then whatever work we're going to be doing is going to be specific to one side so whenever i lock something on this work inter interface is so that the work is not scattered or altered all right so that's what you're going to be doing you're going to be locking it if you look at the top right corner there there's like a padlock icon there all right there's like a padlock icon there so that's what you're going to be clicking to lock whatever job it is you are doing on here so just click on that it will lock the job all right and then the next thing we want to do is add an element to give that particular back a cover all right click on it it's pink right now but we can always change the color to whatever it is we want but you want to make sure it fits to the right and covers the entire page all right so you drag it to the bottom so you see it pops in a way once it fits it pops in a way then you want to stretch it to cover even that very end there all right the very second dotted line make sure it covers it perfectly so this is what the back of your book looks like and this is what the front looks like but we can change this color to what we like um let me just speak black um okay, let's speak white let me just speak white for the purpose of this okay you can do whatever it is you want whatever it is you want all right and the next thing you want to do is make it transparent to make sure that um you are seeing what you covered properly so you don't cover beyond what you want to do all right just make it a bit transparent we're going to um take all of this out in a minute but let's keep keep working now what you want to do is since this place is locked now we want to now so nothing no alteration can happen to this part that we have already finished so we want to work on the front cover now you can go and add elements you can download pictures from whatever platform it is you want to download from you can download from pixabay you can download it there are tons of platforms okay you can even go to pinterest and get inspiration about your book cover okay but we will not cover all of that here so let's just pick a simple template and then make sure that we do justice so let me just pick this heart let's say i'm creating a love notebook okay so let me just put up this to fit in the entire page all right just give that all right this looks good so you want to duplicate it up there and then spread it across So what I did basically was just make sure that um, the image fits the page and covers perfectly, all right? So I'm just still trying to adjust a little bit. Just make sure everywhere on the page is covered, okay? There's no um, omission. You can do whatever design you want. You can go to whatever platform you want and get a perfect design, okay? And the moment you have done that, you want to make sure everything fits in perfectly. So I'm seeing some extra space here at the back. Let me just adjust that. You can do whatever it is you want trust me but then you want to get good ideas you want to be inspired before you do that so that your book can stand out your book can attract people look okay, at the book cover speaks a lot about what kind of book you are creating and what quality of book you're creating so that's basically um the reason why i'm taking out time to just this is this is this is just for the purpose of this class okay you can go and do your in-depth research and get awesome awesome content get inspired and then put up something impeccable but for the purpose of this class i'm just going to be running through um simple things you can do this is just one template i'm using all right so you can do that now the next thing you want to do is um you want to um, unlock the back cover now you want to unlock the back cover and then bring bring it to the front okay first we increase the transparency once you increase the transparency you can see that now it's like white is white and then click on position bring it bring it forward rather 
all right bring it forward so it covers those um extra bleed on the on the on the end okay once you bring it forward you can see that it's now covered okay you want to adjust it to fit the page now you can see we have our back cover and then our front cover but then once just add a couple of things a thing or two for aesthetic effect basically so let me just add this and then um, this is going to be like where i put the title of the cover basically all right um, i want to adjust this i want to make sure it's a bit okay change the color first we can change the color to white but then i don't like the position of it so i'm just gonna no i, I prefer white um let's then work on the position okay let's work on the position of it all right this is perfect this is this, this looks good all right so now you can go and add text this is a notebook just click on the right on the left there notebook just scroll down you have uh, tons of options for the text you want to put in here okay so since it's a notebook i'm just going to put something that indicates that it's a notebook let me just pick something basic okay let's pick this first text here pick, click on it you want to reduce it to fit um our area of the, our text area okay so you want to um edit the text so i'm just going to write notebook here and then um just edit it to fit the page all right uh nope Okay, let's stretch it towards the end yeah this looks perfect now you want to reduce the size and there are two ways you can reduce the size you can either hold and drag from one of the angles bottom angles or you can actually just go to the font box up there and then reduce reduce and increase the size okay you can do that from there but this is perfect but let's let's change the color this color does not fit with our background okay let's click on this and pick on black I believe black works well okay let me highlight everything make sure everything's highlighted like this just double click on it and then you can pick um a black color for everything then let's see what that gives us all right okay so this color is perfect all right so you can see that we already have a notebook cover this can work you can upload this this is basically how you can create a notebook cover for amazon kdp so you want to highlight everything now just click on the top there and scroll down and then you highlight everything and the next thing you want to do is group all what you have highlighted on the front cover now group them and then the position now you want to send it to the back and the reason we're doing this is because we want to delete the templates we use so this template that we now use as now in the front now you can just click on it unlock it now once you unlock it you can click on delete and then the only thing you have here right now is the notebook cover and you are good and then you're set to go you can just download that you want to download it as a pdf print okay pdf print so that people can print it if they order it amazon can print it so pdf print click on that and then you're good to go so basically this is how you create a book cover i hope this video was helpful to you kindly leave a subscribe leave a like leave a comment thank you so much and i will see you on the next video guys